ChatGPT just had a massive update and this update opened up three new ways to make money with it that were not there before. In fact, the third one is something I've personally seen make over $1,000 and now it can be done with just a few clicks of the button. It's crazy. When you see what this can do and how it can make money, I think you're gonna be as amazed at it as I was. Now, all of these side hustles use ChatGPT's new ability to analyze images and tell you exactly what is going on in that picture and it opened up a whole bunch of money-making ideas that I'm gonna show you right now. So if you have the ChatGPT app, you can actually just click on your phone and it, the ChatGPT app can take a photo itself or you can upload photos to the app. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second. Now the first side hustle is creating personalized meal plans and selling them. And if you go on a site like Fiverr here, you can see people offering personalized meal plans for $60, even up to $80 like I'm showing right here. And if you never tried making money on Fiverr before, it's not that difficult. In fact, my teenage son last summer decided he was going to try to make money with Fiverr and he made over a thousand dollars in the matter of just a few months and with zero experience. Now for this meal plan side hustle, what you're going to do is you're going to ask your client to take some photos of the inside of their refrigerator. And when you get those photos, all you need to do is click on this little paper clip right here and it'll let you upload those photos directly into ChatGPT so it can actually see what is inside your client's fridge. And then you're gonna give it this specific prompt and use these exact words or it won't necessarily come out right because we've tested this quite a bit. Analyze these images and make me a meal plan for four people for one week with the food in my fridge. Search the web to give me links of recipes. I have access to a stove, oven, microwave, toaster oven, and air fryer. Do not make the recipes yourself. If you use this exact text, it'll work really great. I wanna emphasize you don't wanna use ChatGPT's recipes. It does not do well with making recipes itself, but it can search the web and find recipes to actually match what is inside the fridge. And you can see here, it's amazing. Instantly, it's come up with a meal plan using the contents of the fridge just from those photos. Then we're gonna give it a second command, which you can see here on my screen. Compile this into a report to give to my client, along with estimated costs, costs for any items I may need to purchase at Aldi and a grocery list. Now Aldi is a grocery store near us. You can pick any grocery store in there that has a website and ChatGPT can analyze the prices and put the prices right in here. And you can see right here, it literally creates a client report. It tells you family, family size, client information. It says four members, appliances, the meal plan, and it provides a grocery list and everything. Now this would have taken hours of work and research in the past. But because of this new ChatGPT update, you can do it with just a few clicks like I showed you right here. Now this next one is even better than the first one that I told you, and my sister-in-law is actually doing it right now. But before I do, let me tell you the disadvantages of these. The main disadvantage is that this is definitely not an autopilot business model. You're gonna have to continually hustle for clients, whether you're helping them with meal plans or one of the other things that I talk about in this video, you're gonna have to continually seek out new clients in order to keep the income coming. Coming in. And that's why I have a free class in the link of the description of this video that's for those of you that are looking for an autopilot business model. In other words, a business where you can set it up at the beginning and then it brings you in residual income whether you're working or not. So you can just click on the link in the description of this video to get a free class on how to set that up. Now the second one can make you even more money than the first and that is a garden plan. You see right here, again, people on Fiverr selling this exact service for up to $500. Here's another one that's $600, but we're going to do the whole thing in a few clicks with this new chat GPT update. Again, just like before, we're going to tell the client to take some photos of their yard, specifically the areas of their yard that they want you to design. And we're going to tell them what to plant, what grows well in that area, and all the details that they're going to need to make it beautiful. Now, you can make even more money if you take this plan and then you actually use it for a local client and you go and do the planting yourself. But this can be done 100% online and you never even have to get your fingers dirty if you want to do it that way. So when the client sends you the photos of their yard, you just click on this little paper clip right here just like you did before and you upload those photos to ChatGPT. 
Now, you want to tell ChatGPT this specific command. Analyze this outdoor space and tell me I could landscape it on a $150 budget. And then you want to make sure and tell it the exact time that the photo was taken and the location that it was taken. You want to tell it, make sure to consider the climate and shade level when choosing the plants and the layout. Create me an image of what it will look like when I implement your suggestions and tell me where to purchase anything I would need to do this. And here it is again. It just gave us our landscape analysis, temperate climate, cold winters, warm summers, shade. It said there was considerable shade in that area, which is true. It says use shade tolerant and hardy plants that could thrive in this environment. It tells you specifically what to purchase and where to purchase each item. And then it gives you a visual image that you can give to your client so they can see exactly how this plan is going to look once it's implemented in their space. Now, if you want to really wow your client, you can go back to ChatGPT and copy the plants and implementation plan, open a new ChatGPT chat box and tell it make me a blueprint of what this is going to look like. And just like I'm showing on my screen, it can create like a pencil sketch or a blueprint looking image, whatever you want to give to your client. Now let's go to the third way to make money with this ChatGPT update. And that is with interior design plans. I literally took photos of the interior space that I had in my house and I hired someone for over $1,000 to tell me how to decorate it, where to get all the stuff, what colors to use, any accents to put, what furniture to buy and everything. And ChatGPT can literally do it right here with just a few clicks. It's amazing. Now, just like with the other two, you want your client to take photos of the space that they want to remodel and make sure to ask them if they have any preferred style or anything specific that they want. And you can just take all that information and paste it right into ChatGPT. And you can see people are charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars for this on Fiverr for this exact thing. Now, just like before, you're gonna click on this little paper clip and you're gonna upload the images that the client sends you directly into ChatGPT. And you can see I've done it there. We've got three pictures. It's actually my daughter's room. She'd actually be horrified to see that I took these pictures because the room is pretty messy, but it does pretty well even with a messy room. And all we told it is redesign this room. All pictures are of the same room, cozy girl vibes. That's the style that we want. Tell me what to do to create the look and create me an image of what my room will look like when I'm done. And you see right here, it's gonna give your client the steps of specifically what to do. And it's giving you an image of the redesigned room. And you wanna just read over that and make sure it looks good. Make sure that it's on track with what you're asking it to do. And if that all looks good, then the next question you ask it is awesome. Incorporate that into a client report and make sure to include generated images in the report. The awesome thing is it generate for you multiple styles so your client could get three different reports all in a different style, telling them exactly what to buy, where to get it, the costs, the colors, and everything, all with just a few clicks. Like I said before, the disadvantage of these is that you have to continually seek out new clients. Even though the actual work of doing it is actually pretty simple using ChatGPT like I just showed you, it does most of the work for you, but the work that you're gonna have to do is gonna have to be every day seeking out new people to buy these services from you, whether it's from Fiverr or some other site. It's gonna take you a significant amount of time every day just to get new clients in the door so that the money keeps coming in. Now, if you want a more autopilot business where you don't have to continually seek out new clients, and actually you don't even have to continually do very much work at all, you really owe it to yourself to click on the link in the description of this video and get my free class that'll show you an autopilot business model that you can set up. In fact, my own daughter set this up when she was only 12 or 13 years old. Now she's a young adult and this business that she set up when she was 12 or 13 has been generating income for her all these years and she literally does nothing to keep the income coming in. Now it was work in the beginning for her to set it up and it will be for you too. You'll have to learn the system that I teach in the free class in the description 
function and you'll have to set up the system. But once it's set up, there's very little ongoing work and it brings you residual income literally while you sleep. So again, just click on the link in the description to get that free class. I'm also gonna play for you right now a video that talks about my daughter's business and how she set it up when she was only 12 or 13 years old. It goes through kind of a case study of how she did it. I'm gonna cue you to that video right now.